In November 1943, the sub arrived in Little Rock, Arkansas. Admission was $1 for children and five for adults. One of those who paid to go into the submarine was seven-year-old Ray Montague. She didn't know what was going on. She just knew that she was going out for, you know, a day trip. Uh, they let her go down inside, and, and she crawled down, and she said it had a, a really unique kind of smell. But she just started imagining what it was like to be someone that was working, living inside that submarine. And so she looked around and saw all these dials and gauges and levers. So she asked, I guess, what any little kid would want to know, how do you learn how to do something like this? And the person that she was talking to basically said, to, to do this, you have to be an engineer to build something like this. Uh, but don't worry, you don't ever have to worry about that. And so obviously the implication there was because it's the segregated South, being an engineer was a male-dominated field, and, and adding to that, you know, being an African-American and the lack of access to education were barriers. And, but she didn't realize that she had been insulted. She just figured, well, there's a lot for me to learn. Young Ray vowed to become an engineer. But in Arkansas, African-American women weren't allowed to study engineering. So instead, she graduated in 1956 from Arkansas Agricultural Mechanical and Normal College, today Arkansas Pine Bluff, with a degree in science and business. Still determined to become an engineer, Ray headed to Washington and secured a job with the Navy as one of the few black women working in the applied mathematics lab. Even with her uh, excellent grades, even with her college degree in business, uh, they started off as a clerk typist, which is the lowest position. Uh, so it was not an application of her degree at all. Ray was undaunted. Her department had computers, large and unwieldy. But for the 1950s, cutting edge. Ray learned how to work them by watching other people. Then one day, all the operators called in sick. And so she started hitting the dials and flipping stuff. Somebody came in and uh, pulled her away from the machine and said, what are you doing? I said, I'm operating the equipment, you know? And they said, well, you're not an engineer. You're not allowed to, to touch this, you know, multi-million dollar piece of equipment here, you know? And so I think the person thought that she was gonna get in trouble and went and reported her. And then the upper management came uh, in to see what she was doing and said, fine, if, you're good, if you can handle this, then we're gonna give you more responsibilities because apparently you know how to do this without have, having gone through the formal training. Despite the discrimination she faced, Ray became an expert computer operator for the Navy in the 1950s and 1960s. 